All right, chip of the day. Everybody lives chip of the day. Uh, this one happens to be a 74 AC 521. We haven't had any AC parts on the uh, on the bench yet. That's advanced CMOS, a much much faster part. Um, I believe they're good up to 90 megahertz. Um, pretty fast parts. So what is this one? It's an 8-bit identity comparator. Um, so if you have an 8-bit value and another 8-bit value, you want to compare the two and see if they're the same. That's what this does. Um, it has uh, uh, a P register and a Q register, so A's and B's. So I don't know why there wasn't the A register and the B register, but whatever. <laughs> and uh, you put in uh, the A's and you put in the B's and it compares them. And then out here, it will give you a, a low true signal if they are equal. And then there's an enable pin too. So it's a low true enable to turn the part on and off. Uh, I don't know if it tri-states. I think it just disables it. Um, let's see here. So let's see here. It's wire. Let's see what else we can learn from this part. Oh, here we go. And this is how it's accomplished by a bunch of exclusive, uh, exclusive NOR gates. Um, and then one big AND, NAND gate. Um, okay. And then you can uh, ripple them if you want to have even more bits. Okay. Uh, so it is a CMOS part and they can operate from two volts to six volts. Wow, that's really low. I didn't know that. Uh, yeah, six volts to uh, two volts. Wow. Okay, so if you have two volt logic, you need this, or a lot of things operate at 3.3 now, this would be just fine. Uh, da, 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 da. Does it say how fast it goes? Uh, I don't see any mentions of speed yet over here. Um, let's see here. Minimum, blah, 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 blah. AC characteristics. Here's nanoseconds for, I guess this is about all we get then. Um, so propagation delay uh, be somewhere between uh, five volts logic, anywhere between two and nine nanoseconds. Um, so prop delay. Yeah, so pretty fast part. Okay, so let's give the part a try. Now, um, CMOS logic, you cannot let um, any input pin float. It has to either be high or it has to be low. Do not let them float. So I've put in some uh, resistors here. This is a single inline uh, resistive uh, a SIP package. Uh, what you call these things? Network, resistor network, there we go. And I'm pulling up all of the pins, all right? have a couple of extras that I'm not using, but yeah, they're both being pulled up, all right? And so um, we have, let's see here, let's, let's go here. So this is the enable pin. I have the enable pin shorted, so it's operating all of the time, okay? And uh, if you noticed, they are all pulled up except for this one. No, they're all pulled up right now. Yeah, they are all pulled up. Um, okay, so let's monitor the output, which is this pin here, and let's see if I can zoom out and see everything. No, not quite. Uh, let's see, let's move this over, and that, and I can see the glare now. Okay, there we go. Uh, can, you, can you see that? Okay, so it's low, and it's... Uh, I have uh, all pull-ups everywhere, so the 8-bits the eight in one register are all high, the 8-bits in the re other register are all high. So I'm going to go in with a, a ground wire, and I'm going to ground one bit of one of the registers. It doesn't really matter what. And if I ground that one input, you can see that we just went high. So it's no longer, they are no longer equal. 
uh, there's some difference between the two. And if I pull that out so that they're all FFFF, uh, or let's see, yeah, FFFF, pull that out. There you go. They, all, they are equal. So the parts work. I've got two of them. Uh, didn't know I had them. Okay, there you go. Chip of the day. It's a 74AC521. There's lots of different um, families, right? There's the C family, the AC family, the F family, the HC family, the HCT family. There's ACT family. The ACT um, and the AC, whenever you see a T, it makes it um, TTL compatible so that the uh, input and output ranges are TTL compatible. So that's what the T is. This one is just CMOS and this one is TTL compatible. So if you need that, 